I know the stereotype is the angry old man on his porch yelling about these kids. You referring to me? Uh, well, not specifically, <laughs> but yes, you're in the you're in the group. Uh, but Jodie Foster wants in on that uh, because Good on she Jody. is calling out Gen Z, um, and apparently she's had some encounters with Gen Z on uh, the sets of some of her projects. And during an interview with The Guardian, she said enough is enough and just decided she was gonna call them out. And here's why. Uh, she says they're, <laughs> they're really annoying, especially in the workplace. They're like, nah, I'm not feeling it today. I'm gonna come in at 10.30. Uh, or like in emails, I'll tell them this is all grammatically incorrect. Did you not check your spelling? And they're like, why would I do that? Isn't that kind of limiting? <laughs> um, I, I, that almost sounds like a word for word conversation look, I, she I, had with someone. And, and I gotta tell you, I mean, look, every generation has a thing. You know, the boomers had a thing about, you know, activism and all, um, and they were kind of trashed by the greatest, the greatest generation. generation right. And on and on and on. And this is the rap that Gen Z has, they, it just is the rap. <laughs> you, you're exactly right, but she does have some important insight here. She was a child star. She was in Taxi Driver back in the 70s when she, she was very, very young, and she knows that she uh, comported herself with a certain level of professionalism. She's also from Yale, so the grammar thing maybe makes sense that she uh, likes proper grammar. But, uh. but listen, what this is every generation, as you said, looks at the other generation and says, look, we paved the way, and now you're entitled and soft. And this is just that happening again. And now Jodie Foster's older, and she's uh, sort of you know, shaking her fist on the porch.